Huh. Ooh. Hello. A very familiar looking uh, scene. So, uh, thank you all for joining us uh, here again. Press pause, real play, play. Uh, yeah, we're still oh, covering man. Bonk. And again, you're going to notice a lot of Japanese Bonk. I apologize. You can blame yourselves for not fucking liking Bonk enough, apparently, to like... Renderware, that's weird. That's the same engine that Grand Theft Auto used on PS2. Yeah. Crazy. I said the same thing myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is another Japanese exclusive game. Uh, did not make it here to America. It was uh, part of a weird like uh, revamp and re-release of uh, Hudson Soft Properties. There was this one, Load Runner, uh, Adventure Islands, and then some other... Uh, I, I don't remember what the third one was. Star, Star Soldier. It was Star Soldier. You're right. Yes, it's the Hudson Best Collection. Yeah. So, this game, it's awkward in the sense that it's very faithful to Bonk's Adventure, and at the same time, it isn't. And it's also very stylish. Like, it... It really reminds me of, like, Yoshi's story and how stylish it is. Um, also, uh, a lot of uh, different mechanics have changed. So, the smiley faces are just no longer uh, so fundamental for score. As not they're not as friendly looking either. No, oh, no, not at all. Nothing's friendly looking. Everything here is just like... Nah, 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 nah. Um... You didn't Which, buy our games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you didn't make us feel appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what? <laughs> yeah, but I'm testing out like just how familiar it is. So this is the multiplier bonk. This is uh, essentially fucking playing volleyball with your enemies and keeping them up in the air until you can't get any more score and then just tossing them to the side. Uh, and that's how so you get you're lives. 12,000 points there. Like, what's going on? Like... So it's it's dependent on your uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Also you turn into a monkey. Yeah, you do. Um the That's game good. the game is uh very also it places a new importance on um fruit. Which uh now fruits are basically collectible items within each stage for completion. And if okay. you get all of them, you'll get a uh you'll get a secret level that's brand new to the game. Uh, but aside from that, everything else is mostly the same. Um, the one thing that I really didn't like, and like, I know it's really nitpicky, but like every bonk game has like introduced some new physic or some new mechanic um, that, uh, you know, just shit that you can do um, that improved upon the foundation of the original. This game, I, even though it's like trying to keep in line with remaining uh, very close to the original, it, it, it doesn't introduce any of those improvements. So uh, the improvements I'm mentioning, uh, you'll see more or less near the uh, uh, later on in, in this playthrough. But like, for example, one of my favorite uh, physics of Bonk is uh, bonking off walls, which is the Bonk off. Uh, that wasn't a thing you can do here. Uh, and guess what? You still can't do it, which it really bugs me. I really wanted, uh, you know, I really wanted to get a little bit more creative. Uh, you know, it's weird because some of you might be asking right now. I'm like, especially those who like bonk, like, huh, is this game worth grabbing? I, you know, if you already have Bonk's Adventure, it's really hard to answer that because it's really neat looking, but it doesn't do a whole lot more aside from just being neat looking. You know what? I don't know. I I'm not sure that I like the style. Something about it. Well, yeah, it's very exaggerated. Like he's got that that weird head shake going at all times. And... Um, he's always like he's got a nervous disorder. Like... Dude, he's always had these things though. It's just more animated now. I, you know, and believe it or not, dude, this is definitely not the weirdest that Bonk has looked in his games. Not well, yeah, there was like Bonk's Return. <sighs> no, I, there was now loading. There was PC Super this PC Engine Two. There was fucking Super Bonk Two. It's a fucking hobo. He's like, he's like, <laughs> we got, oh, I got, oh yeah, he, he was the leering hobo, right? 
or or as I like to call him, sex predator bonk. Because that's what he is. It's it's awful. And then he's a fucking weird, gross chameleon. So, which I thought was hilarious. That was the that was the best thing, uh, use of a tongue and mouth of all time. Yeah, hilarious. If, I, I, if anything. When I look at the style, it gives like it's it's kind of like Yoshi's story where it's got like a pop up book vibe to it, which I like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, really I like just it. don't. I just kind of don't like how Bonk looks. It's... Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah, I I didn't get the whole dead eye like oh, I'm underwater. But yeah, that's the that's the underwater. Expression. Those are gastric juices. My friend. Yeah. Um, I think in in oh, this particular exact remake. And this particular remake, I think they definitely uh, make it more aware that you are coming out of a butt. Um, okay. Yeah, Is the secret I, area still in this? Um, I think so. I don't like. I'm a. I, all right. So the secret area is the one that's coming up right here, right up to the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's still here. It's just a life. I don't remember what was there um, in the first game though. It was a life. It was a life. Okay. Yeah. And see, it, it doesn't even look like an area you can fit in. Uh, but there's also fruit here. So, it again, the fruit is stupid. You've got it's eight lives. What is the extend score in this? Yeah, so, I, you know, that's the thing, too. Um, I, did, I forgot to explain that. So, in Bonk's Adventure and the other subsequent Bonk's, there, it, depending on where you looked or, and in certain secret areas, there were heart containers that you can get that extended your heart count. Okay? Uh, they are fucking gone. They are not in this game. So, it's, it's, they kind of like pulled Mario Galaxy before Mario Galaxy pulled it to where they just make it easier to where you get a uh, butt. Um, it, you just get a shitload of lives. And you only had three hearts at all times. And unlike uh, Bonk's Adventure, like, every uh, hit didn't always take away a whole heart. It took away, like, a quarter of a heart or a fraction right. of it. Here, though, it, like, every damage point that you, it is just one heart. They just keep it simple. But, like, yeah, uh, aside from this dude, too, all the bosses have different, like, fucking, all of them have different patterns. Like, he is the only familiar pushover. Oh, I'm just so happy. Look at him. He's fucking adorable. He looks like a Barney character. I love you. You love me. We're a happy... F That's what he's saying in Japanese, right? Sarah, is that, is that uh, the kanji, right? No, not really. Oh, he does want to be your friend, though. Yeah, he doesn't say arf, arf, now. Arf, arf. Yeah, that's... God damn it, I always found that really fucking weird. Ugh. Oh, so weird. But anyway, yeah, so the ninja boss? Holy shit. I, you, you, you'll see for yourself. Yeah, that's the one thing, totally forgot. And we'll probably, we'll touch on it more when we talk about the original where it all started. Um, but yeah, man, the consistency in this game, like, drastically fucking changes for, like, the weirdest. Like, that first stage was what? Like, four parts? Yeah. Yeah, and then the second stage is like fucking eight parts. Like, what the fuck? I never, I never like understood that. Like, why they made the second. Because, like, the third and fourth and fifth stage aren't that long, right? It's only the second stage that I remember. I mean, am I remembering wrong? Um. No, a lot of them, like, there was some some areas that were really, really short, too, I think. Yeah. Like, isn't there one part that, like, there's a bridge, but the bridge falls, and you end up just going to the bottom of the screen, and that's the end of the stage? Or am I thinking of Bong's Revenge? You're thinking of Bong's Revenge. Um, but yeah, I, but, I, you know, I kind of like the art style here and there. Like, the Venus Bonk trap definitely looks way more sinister. When, uh... <laughs> When those, he gets hit, those, those hit by the spikes, that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! Um. Oh, there's still the secret like doors you can go into, right? Yeah. Um. There's less of them though. Oh, okay. It's it's strange. Um, like the uh, the turbo 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 one. Um, not not there. I do I do like that little noise. I don't remember making that Zelda yeah, noise. 
Also, this is new. This was not in the first bonk. That that's a like a super bonk thing. Each door, I believe, was like a fucking bonus stage, right? Yeah, it was. But they were all different. Yeah, that is so. Um, some of them are bonus stages here. Um, but yeah, I, I, again, I don't remember, and they did change them up. Um, but yeah, and then see, that's a life right there, which I, I, I like. I like that he's just this. He's got Angry that looking. gnarly, yeah, that <laughs> gnarly looking bonk grin. I don't know. I kind of like the stylistic changes they made with bonk in this game. I thought it was cool. Um, yeah, he's. <laughs> He definitely looks like he's in serious need of anger management with the uh, <laughs> animation here. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot more comic, uh, like like the the Zack Zack, I, which I, I can only imagine what that means in the Land of the Rising Sun. But just that's everything. just him, like you know, pushing off angrily with his feet as he goes, right? Yeah, but even then, the giant words that show yeah. up like every time you fucking like smash against the ground yeah um super fuck this up i if i if i remember correctly so I'm just like go yeah i got it <laughs> i hate it when that happens yeah the physics are a, a little different with the hover jump and yeah so i believe that's it those are all the secret doors so, like, huh. there were so many others in the other game, which I know we'll, we'll touch on. Um, and, you know, I don't remember why. Because, like, I think a lot of them had to do with the fact that they were all smiley <laughs> face related. And because the smiley right. faces are so uh, dependent on getting extra lives now in this game, um, they, I guess they kind of reduced the opportunities to get them. Um, it's kind of a creepy looking tree. It is. Um... I, I, yeah, they, I, everything here has, like, a weird new, like, like, even these guys right here, these are also trademark bonk monsters, and they're, and they're made to look more like traditional dinosaurs, and mm -hmm. stuff like alligator turtles. I don't know, I always just got the vibe that there are alligator turtles in the original. Now roading. Oh, is that what that says? It is actually what it says. Exactly like that, too. <laughs> huh. They just used the wrong alphabet for it, that's all. Oh. So, um, here is probably, like, I don't know, um, you know, I'm not gonna, like, try to make it to the end, I really just want to show you guys off to this game, but, yeah, I, I don't remember, and, and Sarah, you mentioned that you played Star Soldier as far as the Hudson's Best. Yes. Uh, yeah, so how, how different is it from the Star Soldier game that it re remakes? Uh, it's it looks really cheap as a uh, as like a complete remake, but playability wise, it's more or less the same. Uh, they've added a bit more to it though in terms of how the power ups are affected uh, as you collect them, right? But it's it's a lot like this. Like he turns into a monkey in this, and it's sort of like an extra layer of uh, of power up that wasn't in the first one. So. Well, I mean, I, I think the monkey is really just aesthetic, because you know, aside from that, it's yeah, the same probably. second stage. Yeah, it, there's not a whole lot different. But there's, um, you know, the emphasis on the fruit is different, and the uh, the well, the very forgiving extend score is is definitely very different. But. Yeah, um, which I'm really curious to see, because like, uh, Master Higgins in Adventure Island, the that remake. Has a very like I don't know I, I kind of want to say it's it's a little similar maybe not as pop up booky is um, Bonk's Adventure yeah. but yeah uh, definitely definitely has like a cell shaded look to it but I don't that game was very dependent on like score chaining and multipliers to get fucking lives because that game was stupid mm. hard it was stupid hard I could only get to stage seven yeah. Uh, but I, I kind of noticed too, while everything looks a lot angrier and a lot less cute, everything's also a lot way less gross. Like way less gross. Like these like like fetus things that would pop out, they don't pop oh, out. Yeah, the They're not host. fetuses. They're not a that's not a thing anymore, thank goodness. I don't know. I, I could only imagine with like stem cell research and like abortions being more common fucking ground for like uh 
I, I, I would say the public eye. I think they just kind of wanted to stem away from that. It's it's, right. it's strange. Like, for for is like for all the liberties that they took and like all all the meanness that this game looks. Yeah, definitely way less gross. Like, do you remember when Bonk died in Bonk's Adventure? Yeah, he just kind of looked really at peace. No, he like died violently every time and like foamed oh, wait, in the you mouth. Know, that, well, no, but when he finally, you know, stops struggling. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. He looks really at peace. Yeah, dude. It's a... Uh... You're right, that was kind of disturbing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I, you know, and we didn't we didn't look that shit when we were kids. We were just like, oh, shit, he died. If anything, we were just stoked the fact we didn't have to start the fucking level over. We we're just right, like, yeah. all right, yeah. I Fuck do like up. how, like, the enemies get X'd out when, you're, when you know they're gone. Yeah, I... It's weird because, like, um... I didn't even realize that small touch because I forget that, like, some enemies uh, take multiple bonks, even when you do the, uh, the, the downward bonk. Right. So that I I know I I just noticed that that's kind of a cool touch, but you know for the most part, like oh I hated the birds they sucked. I, uh, you know what though, you know how they like made little babies for you to murder? Yeah, they yeah. totally don't do that in this game. I guess that's helpful. <laughs> it, it's helpful and uh, a little again less disturbing. The bulging eyes recoil is hilarious. Yeah, um, I, I want to say, I don't know if it, the physics, like, even though they're a little weirder for jumping, uh, for, like, the multiplier bonking, they're a lot easier. Like, I don't remember being able to pull it off as easy as I've been doing it, um, in, in this particular iteration. So, it's, uh, I don't know. I always found it pretty weird. Um, so... Here's my question to you because um, I didn't want to like bring it up just yet, but we we've already touched on Airzong, right? And we never got to touch on the fact that like if uh, Airzong were to be brought back, like how would you feel about it getting like uh like what was supposed to be a a bonk brink of extinction re-release? Because I mean, look at like for the most part, every like niche property that's been brought back like Rocket Knight and Splatterhouse uh, hasn't been very well received uh, oh, you know what's nuts. funny though so I don't know if you heard this and we're going to touch on it anyway sooner or later so might as well talk about it now um, so did you ever hear about why exactly Brink of Extinction got cancelled um, I yeah you know I don't know exactly why that actually happened like I know that it was in development and it was it was moderately hyped. Like, there was enough attention paid to it that certain outlets were like, oh, yeah, remember this game? It was awesome. Can't wait for this game, right? Um, but, yeah, I never never did uh, understand why it was completely canned in the end. So, I assume you've got the answer, yes? Yes, I do. Um, okay, spill then. So, uh, keep in mind that this game was coming out uh, around 2009. Uh, yeah. You'll remember uh, it was during PAX East that like we were actually supposed to play this game, but uh, Hudson couldn't make it to PAX. And you know why they couldn't make it to PAX? Because they were absorbed into Konami. No, 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 no. What was going on in Japan <laughs> at the time? Yeah, just blame oh, yeah, Konami. I Fuck Konami. <laughs> I, I, I will. <laughs> um, no, it was because of the tsunami that took place. Okay, yeah. Right? Um, right. so that was the plot of Brink of Extinction was this huge cataclysmic uh, tsunami and comet that like, huh. so yeah, that's why it's called Brink of Extinction. Right, so yeah. not only did they not release the game, but it closed down the development studio that worked on it, Pi Studios. Man, um, but that's here's, rough. But no, so here's the kicker. The game was complete. Oh okay. no. No, okay, no, it gets better. Um, Pi Studios went through a liquidation and they mm -hmm. sold off all of their assets, and they sold off the PS3 develop the, like the debug PS3 that they had, and it had the full game on it, even the extra DLC. And some dude just recently like finally decided to record an off uh, off video footage of it, and he played through the entire game. And no he's way. the only owner of um, 
bonk uh, brink of extinction. And you know what's funny? Is you'd be surprised. There are a lot of unreleased bonk games. Like, I had no idea the amount of unreleased bonk stuff there is. And it, it just, it's just funny to me that even... Uh, even in the modern age, like, uh, even now, there are supposed to be, you know, okay, so Sega 3D Classics on 3DS, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude, there's supposed to be a Bonk 3D that got canceled. What? Yeah. Guess what else was also supposed to come out, speaking of 3D, but not so 3D, but 3D nonetheless. Um, there was gonna be a Bonk game on the Nintendo 64, and you know what it turned into? It probably turned into uh, Bomberman 64, yeah? And, uh, close. Very close. Think of the one Bomberman 64 game that it's not like Bomberman. That's like the like weirdest Bomberman game. Bomberman Hero? Yep. Yeah. That was Bonk 64. No way. It, um, at, at the very last minute, they decided against it only because they, they didn't like think they didn't think that Bonk was popular enough to where the game would be a success and it would be a failure, so they decided yeah. to go with Bomberman. That's why you'll notice, like, I guess that's why that's they the had only the... jumping Bomberman. I guess it make it makes sense. I mean, the it's weird to have two Bomberman games on the same platform after the Turbo Graphics, right? So, well, right, and and even then, like. Well, there was also Bomberman Second Attack. There was actually three Bomberman games in 64. Oh, yeah, that's right. And there was three Bomberman games in Super NES and, like, a shitload of them on Turbo Graphics. There are, like, yeah. Bomberman... PC Engine is where it was at, but, you yeah. know, Hudson's Oh, no, right. no, man, Saturn Bomberman's the best Bomberman. It was, yeah. Ten player at once, right? Yeah, dude. Uh, that shit... You know what? I... Apparently, there was a Bomberman WiiWare game. Man, WiiWare uh, had... Yeah, no, I, I I saw it. I'm gonna grab it, and you can even play as your me avatars. Neat. Yeah, dude. Like, there's a Mr. Driller we wear game. Like, God, I knew. really? Like, I'm so happy that eShop is like now like being marketed and pushed by Nintendo, because there's so much. It's like it's so fucking weird. Go through WiiWare sometime. Like, I know there's going to be a shitload of shovelware, but you'd be surprised, man. You'll find a lot of shit there that, like, you'd never even have thought would have It's like, it's... And this is how weird it is. It's like going through Xbox Live Indie. I, I swear to you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, but right now, we're near... We're still on the second stage, folks. This fucking stage is so weird and long. Um, but yeah. The stage. Yeah, and see, this is where, like, you would get the very first uh, a, a, a heart container extension uh, yeah. by going to the treetops, and it's not there. I really want that extra life. I, I want it. Yeah, the stages in this do feel a lot longer. It's, yeah. I'm pretty sure I would have been here in about half the time that we've seen so far. Well, okay, so that, you know, the tree section where you're swinging and swiveling... Which yeah. is very faithful to the like the the very first one, but like they bring that back in subsequent sequels, and right. they like they introduce like Bonk be able to swing vertically and bouncing off of those. It makes like traversing through those areas way smoother and just honestly way funner. It's way it's it's just more intuitive. Uh, in the very first Bonk game, which this is a remake of, not so much, and they didn't fucking <laughs> fix it. Which, uh, yeah, it bugs me. It's a, it's a fucking... It's a bummer. Oh, man. I will say, though, that the multipliers are still super fun. <laughs> I love that he just sits down and he's just like, um, <laughs> fucking ride this skull mouth elevator. I thought the music in this particular section, the elevator, is the best bonk music. This. This music right here. Like, if I could just hang out and listen to it, and I like the remix of it. I just... Yeah. Fucking way harder, way harder. Oh man, harder. look at him go! Yeah, he <laughs> does this crazy flame kick, and then he turns into a fucking shuriken. This is where uh, like the extra lives come to play. You're gonna see me fucking die a lot. Plus, the hitbox sucks. Like, <laughs> there is a lot of times where uh, I hit him, and there's a trick to it that I didn't even realize. And I don't know if it's bad game design. Um, 
it you really have a better chance of hitting him when he's moving. So yeah, that's bizarre. Yeah, like when he's standing still, you're you'll actually make contact with everything that'll hurt you. Like there, it's those shurikens. But when he's moving and running, that's when like you don't hit the shurikens. So, okay. I, it takes me a while, but like, dude, in in the original, I would have beaten him by now. You just lock him in a pattern, and he'll do his clone thing. This attack right here, totally new. These patterns, totally new. So, um, the further you go, yeah, the game only gets harder like this with the bosses. Like, I don't even want to talk okay. about King Ghoul. He's a he's a motherfucker. And then the secret level and the secret boss, stupid. Like, fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, this is where shit gets real for him. So here, um, I, I thought it was cool. Um, I don't remember if the original game did it, but, uh, well, I, I could never remember because I would normally beat this fucking boss by now. It's, it's not, it's the second boss. It's not, it's <laughs> not supposed to be this hard. Um, but anyway, uh, you, you'll notice the real McCoy between the fake is uh the one with the cracked eggshell the, the, the okay. it reflects more cracks from the damage you've been giving it so um definitely uh, is it like that with the first one or i don't yeah see i don't remember this he definitely looks way more effeminate uh and i'm sorry oh, less what? effeminate in this one too yeah oh we're so twirly still yeah yeah look at me i'm still uh, a weird karate master thing. Um, but yeah, so this is Hudson's Best Volume 3 PC Genjin post Computer computerist. I, I still don't get why they call him PC Kid. <clears throat> pro, uh, pro seg, uh, what is it? Procom Sognathus. Uh, Fuck it, it's a bomb! And, yeah. And yeah, that one. Is, PC Engine. Stay Genjin. tuned for fucking more bonk. Of course, there's so much more bonk. This latest play play video from Press Pause Radio was brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at www.audibletrial.com slash radio, and you can get access to over 100,000 titles to choose from from your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player.